Hey guys, Madeline here. Um, I decided that today I was going to do the video on the cage that cage that I got yesterday in the mail. Um, I talked about it in maybe my first video that I made. So um, yeah, that's my room's a bit messy. Sorry about that. So here's the cage and all my supplies in the back. I haven't set it up yet, but I did put the cage together. And I, I what I mean by I didn't set it up is I just didn't. Um, put the bedding and stuff in it. Um, as you can see, it's oh, quite a big cage, uh, bigger than my TV stand slash dresser. Um, there are a few things that I don't like about the cage. Um, one being the metal, it's, it's kind of twisted in some areas, like right here, this metal here is sloped down on both sides so it's like a little mountain right here or like a little valley I guess and it's just going down on that one bar the metal got bent and then right here you can see that the top is overlapping so I think that I'm just not going to use the top I think I'm just not going to put on the top because it's, it makes the cage look really bad and you know it's just not a good top so what I would say about this cage is it's not the best cage, but I mean, sorry, I, I was fixing it, but um, it's not the best cage, but you know, it'll do. And how this cage works, it um, has these little clasp things right here, and um, really, you just flip them over on both sides. Ugh, some of them are hard to do, so... Okay, so just flip them over on both sides. Um, there's some over here. Uh, and right here. And then what you can do is... Oop, uh, this whole cage lifts off, so you can, like, uh, fold it all the ways and it's convenient but at the same time makes it look pretty trashy um, so yeah you can just lift off the top here which I think is what I'm gonna end up doing because the top just looks really bad and it's not very put together it's not really put together well so yeah there's a few improvements that can be made. Um, oops. I'm just putting the top over these cages here. Um, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. Ugh, this is so hard. Okay, and then just flip the clasp over, and that's that side. Just want to make sure this side's really. Um, see the cage kind of bends outwards like that on some parts of it, um, which don't necessarily like. So. Um, if it was up to me, if I could order the cage all over again, really, I would just buy some CNC um, storage blocks that you make, like, organized files out of, because overall they're just easier to make, they don't look as bad, and um, they don't really, you know... It's easy to maintain. This this cage is pretty easy to maintain. The only problem is that um oh this door you just there's a little bar here. I just lift it up and 
for a cage door out. Um, but really the only problem is, um, doesn't look good. Some of the wire is bent. I guess here you would get a better angle of that bent thing that I showed you at first. See how it's sloping downwards. That's, that's bent metal. It's not supposed to be like that. And also another thing that I thought was pretty weird with a cage is it does not come with, like, a hard plastic bottom. It's actually, um, oops, sorry. It's actually gonna be felt. So, it's actually, it's not really, it's not really felt. I mean, it's like, it's not plastic. It's, um, here, I'll give you, no, it's not gonna work, but, like, see, I can, like, push up on it, and I don't really know how to describe this to you, but, oh, here we go. The corner here, it has seams. It's made out of fabric of some sort. I, I guess nylon, I don't know how to describe fabric. I'm not a fabric expert, but you see here I can bend it in and then right here it bends. So, like that part I don't like. And then I can just bend it back out. Which I'm afraid that the guinea pigs will somehow find a way to escape, but that's probably just me being paranoid. Then the, uh, this, this um, fabric bottom here secures with velcro straps which is not very secure in my opinion I don't know why did I close that um has a little uh ramp that the guinea pigs can go in and out of and it's pretty stable I think there's some kind of wood or something in it um oh or it's just the cage it's just the cage so yeah they can run up and down that and I'm thinking and, and it's supposed to be the direction said to put this whole divider thing Right here, this divider in the middle um, is supposed to be in a third of the cage, and then this whole third right here is going to be food and water and um, the hay rack. And then I'm going to put bedding in here, and then over on this side, the larger portion, I'm not going to put anything, and that's just going to be the plate, at least because my mom says that guinea pigs pee and poop where they eat and drink which I don't know if that's true or not but you know whatever we'll, f we'll figure it out so that's the cage there's its up and downs it opens on the top because you can fold back the top opens on both ends right here both ends opens on both ends and um, yeah that's the cage overall it's pretty good cage. I don't know if it's going to hold the guinea pigs or not. I'm getting my guinea pigs actually this Monday because today's Wednesday, or Thursday, Wednesday probably, Wednesday and uh, I'm getting them next Monday. So I just did a huge chore, uh, clean my parents' disgusting bathroom. Um, not even kidding, there was mold and uh, fungus and stuff and I cleaned it all out and uh, organized their stuff, mopped and vacuumed and everything, so I'm gonna get paid ten dollars for cleaning that out. And um then I just gotta keep doing my regular everyday chores. Um and then I can get paid my allowance for the week. So at the end of this week I'm gonna have around ninety five dollars and a few cents and that's gonna be enough to pay my parents back for all of the this and the supplies and the guinea pigs, which are sixty dollars each or uh, thirty dollars each at um, Petco. And I know people say, "Oh, well, PetSmart takes better care of their pets than Petco." Well, um, actually, I went to both places to check out the guinea pig habitats. At Petco, they separate the genders, female and male, and at PetSmart, they just don't even know what gender the um, guinea pigs are. They just stick them in all in a cage together. So I'm not adopting from PetSmart because I want a female and if I adopt a female I'm gonna get a pregnant one. So that's my logic on that. And um, really that philosophy oh my gosh I can't talk. The philosophy that um, Petco is worse than PetSmart is not really true. It really just depends on who's running the store, you know? So, um, yeah, I'll...
follow up with you guys. Um, probably do another gaming video on my DS. Sorry about the quality and everything. I had some uploading problems yesterday, which is why there was two Pokemon Ranger episodes. Or three Pokemon Ranger episodes, even though there's only supposed to be two. So, yeah. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys later, and bye!